Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Tennis Rookies Part 2, where starting tennis players can get information to learn tennis in the best way possible so you can develop a nice game that has a future. Our last Tennis Rookies Part 1 showed how to get the correct grip on the racket for a forehand ground stroke. We demonstrated how to find semi-western forehand grip or the eastern forehand grip for both right-handers and lefties. The video is to describe the advantage and disadvantage of the eastern and semi-western grips. The grip used by a couple of the best tennis players the world has seen, namely Roger Federer and before his time on the women's side, Kim Kleisters. Both players were top in the world. When you look at the eastern forehand grip, you'll notice the pad of the index finger is on bevel number three. If you need a refresher on that, check out Tennis Rookies Part 1 about the forehand grips. Roger's eastern forehand grip is a tiny bit near bevel number four. The pad on bevel number four is considered a semi-western grip. Many top juniors, collegiate and pro players use semi-western forehands, but Roger's, Roger's grip is a bit closer to the eastern and he's a little bit of an exception. Kleister's also used an eastern or a bit further on her forehand. What you will see with the pros, no matter what grip, is a loop swing on the forehand. You will be trying to find a needle in the haystack if you're looking for a top player that does not loop on the dominant side. This type of swing can be modified for players that have a big challenge getting in enough repetitions. Easterns have an advantage to hit topspin, particularly on average height bounces, which are contacted somewhere from the knees to the mid torso. It is a bit more challenging to hit topspin with an Eastern on high bounce balls higher than mid torso. Eastern forehands can adjust to low bouncing balls a bit easier than the semi-Western forehands. Eastern forehands can be used to hit forehand volleys also, although many pros use the continental forehand or the universal forehand grip on volleys, which also allows the backhand to be hit with the same grip. Novak Djokovic has spent a lot of time at number one. He uses a semi-Western forehand to hit huge amounts of topspin depending on how far he drops below the ball before he swings. Nadal gets a tremendous amount of topspin with his semi-Western forehand grip. Rafa and Serena have both been number one many, many weeks on the pro circuit. They both use semi-Western forehands and often use open stance. Thanks for watching tennisonlineprofessionalservices.com. Look for our other videos. See you soon.